If you're anything like me, you open cases, understand that getting a knife is very unlikely, never pull anything good, and yet still open cases. If this describes you, then I hope this video will be very informative. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Now, I don't need to tell you that case openings aren't profitable because, let's be honest, we've probably been told that by like 100 other people by now. I'm just here to talk about the numbers and to talk about the strategy that I believe many of us have fallen for. That strategy is the, once I get a knife, I'll stop. I myself am guilty of this strategy. After wasting so much money on opening these things, I've reached the point where I just want to open a gold and just see that it's actually possible for me. I don't care if it's rust coat shadow daggers. I just want the satisfaction of getting a knife. This deadly vortex only pulls harder the more cases you open, and it's my hope that this video can help pull at least one of you out of it. If you're still interested in this video, then I'll assume you think at least somewhat like me. And if that's true, then I think it's fair to follow my own journey for understanding actual case odds. So me personally, my dream knife would be an emerald gamma doppler butterfly knife. I know I could never afford this, so I figured if I'm going to be opening cases to try and get a knife, I might as well open one with a chance at that. Spoiler alert, this is a terrible strategy. Of the cases that contain an emerald butterfly knife, the Dreams and Nightmares case is by far the cheapest because, what am I, made of money? No, if I was, I would just buy the knife. So if I'm gonna keep pissing away cash to unbox one, I'm gonna go with the cheapest option I could get. So I started with this poorly thought out strategy and after opening a bunch of Dreams and Nightmare cases, I got curious of just how bad my odds were and I quickly realized just how lucky I'd have to be. So, after jumping down the rabbit hole, I decided to emulate case openings on my own. And here's the breakdown of the odds represented by cases in 3D. So to start out, we have getting a blue, which is roughly an 80% chance. And if you round up, that's one crate. So already, if you open five crates, four of them should be a blue. Next, purples. This should roughly be one out of six crates. Next we have pinks, 31 crates. I'd say this is already a decent amount of crates to just get a classified so already not looking too good. Next, we have a red at approximately 156 crates. This is a lot of crates considering some reds can easily be purchased for well under $10. Next, the odds that really matter, golds. This is 0.256% or better seen as one out of 391 cases. For most of you, these odds aren't anything new, but what if we continue and look at my example in more depth? Well, next we have the odds of actually getting a butterfly knife, regardless of skin. In the Dreams and Nightmares case, this is roughly 0.05115% or 1 out of 2,000 cases. So at this point, I would say forget about trying to get a game of Doppler, just getting a butterfly knife on its own is going to be near impossible. But hey, let's keep going. Maybe I'm feeling lucky. Here's what it would take to get a butterfly knife gamma Doppler. That is roughly 0.008525% or 1 out of 11,730 cases. So, let's say you opened four cases last week because you thought, hey, why not? It could be me. This is what your odds look like. But hey, if I'm going to be lucky enough to get a butterfly knife gamma doppler, then it might as well just be an emerald. Because at this point, what's just a little bit more luck? And who wants a crappy phase four anyways? So here's what that would look like. The odds of an emerald, as averaged from the amounts available in float database, is roughly 23% for phases one through four and 8% for a chance of an emerald. So, if you're like me and your goal was to get an emerald butterfly knife, your odds are 0.00682% or better visualized as 1 out of 146,484 cases. Those are the odds. Not looking good. And finally, the farthest that we could push this is what if you wanted to pull the rarest item out of the Dreams and Nightmares case? That would be an emerald gamma dobbler stat track minimum wear. To get this on a butterfly knife, it looks like this. Now. I couldn't get a video of this because it would crash my computer, so all I have is an image, and I'm not good enough at Blender to solve this issue. So feel free right now to guess the number of cases you think are here, and if it helps, right there in the very bottom corner is the default light I forgot to remove in Blender, so if that helps at all for scale, go ahead. But the odds of getting a butterfly knife with this exact setup is 0.0000852%. 
or better visualized as one out of 11,730,000 cases. At this point, I really thought just scaling up the rarity and showing how many cases would be pretty cool, but then it just ended up turning into a giant yellow square. So can't tell if that takes away from just how rare this is, but if this helps, according to FloatDB, only four of these exist and none are for sale. So you could not even get this if you wanted to. But back to the matter at hand. Is polling until you get a knife a good strategy? Well, I ran the numbers to find out. Should you keep opening cases until you get a knife and then stopping permanently? Is this cope or is it actually a decent payout? So here's how that strategy pans out. After running a Monte Carlo of 10 million people opening cases until they get a knife and roughly 3.9 billion simulated polls, your return on investment on the Dreams and Nightmare case is an average of negative $641 and a median loss of negative $422. Of the 10 million runs, the number of positive runs was roughly 2.7 million, or roughly 27.08% of the time. One unlucky run took 6,352 pulls just to get one knife. And I want to clarify, the profit loss function is the total value of the skins pulled plus the knife minus the cost to open. So on average, after pulling a knife, you will be down $642. You could have bought all those skins from the case plus the knife for $642 less on average. So at this point, not really looking good to use that strategy. And I bet you're thinking, should I really stop? What's considered lucky? Because it's important to note that the rarity of a gold is 1 out of 391. However, that doesn't mean it takes 391 cases to get there. The 50% mark on cumulative odds of getting a gold is roughly 270 cases, meaning out of a population of case openers, roughly half of them will have pulled a knife by case number 270. So as long as you open a knife before 270 cases, you will be considered lucky. Let's say you're a jaded individual and you're thinking, screw it. No matter what, I'm pulling a knife, even if it costs me everything. Well, you can, as long as you have 4.5K lying around. That is the cost of 1,800 cases, which is the 99% chance mark of getting a knife. So that about wraps it up, but in case you still haven't comprehended just how crappy these case opening odds are, here's a fun fact about the Dreams and Nightmares case. Of the poll possibilities, the most common is a tie between Necro Jr. Battle Scarred, Scrawl Battle Scarred, Spirit Board Battle Scarred, and Lifted Spirits Battle Scarred. Out of the entire case, these specific skins make up 22.6% of the odds, each individually having a 5.65% chance of happening. So, while you chase that knife, you'll be getting one of these skins every 5th crate or so. Not super comforting. So, that's about it though. I'll be linking a shorter second video on a case opening simulation example of what it would look like to pull for a knife, and just kind of how demoralizing it is to just keep pulling blues. But uh, I wanted to keep this video short and concise because honestly, I could go into a lot more depth about specific odds within the Dreams Nightmares case, as well as just discussing data collection and showcasing how the odds were determined. But I figured I could save that for another video if enough people were interested. I do have future plans to go over other cases, but for now, I've just looked at the Dreams and Nightmares case. But anyways, thank you for watching.